Hi everybody. So uh, we talked a little bit about getting your profile set up, getting tasks created and assigned to others. And I wanted to touch um, high level on the file cabinet. So we're still back here in Chloe's team and we've decided to go in as the primary helper. We've got a couple fun tasks in our calendar and now we want to upload a file. So if you go over here to the file cabinet on the left hand side, that's going to open up our library. And if you look at this, it says we don't have any files yet. So this is our empty screen. And that makes total sense. If you come up here, you're going to see that's zero megabytes out of 10. So this is how much storage the plan that you paid for has, or the free plan, which comes with 10 megabytes. And just like in the add uh, tasks, we have a big giant add button here if we want to add a file to our library. And again, similar to other um, functions, if we hit this back button right here, it takes us right back to the main dashboard. So let's go back again to the file cabinet, seeing that we don't have any files, and let's get to adding a file. So you click on the add button, and it's basically gonna take you to your brand new, um, to all of your files, right? And I've got all kinds of crazy stuff here. So let's um, add our tuxedo PNG file. I'm going to choose that file, and now that's what we've got. So I'm going to put in a title. Maybe we call it the um, the Tux Penguin. Uh, the Tux Penguin. Ah, should have picked a word I can spell. Tux Peng. There we go. Um, cute photo. There we go. Now, one thing that I want to make sure we go through, just like we've talked about a bunch of times before, right now we have a new document. That means until we do something, this isn't saved. And if you look up here, you see this check mark and a little circle. This will give you a save. If you click the trash can, it'll delete it. And similar to the tags when you were in um, the task management, you can also use the tags in here. So we're going to put like cute for cute photos, maybe. Um, you can do things like POA, so you can easily track any of your power of attorney maybe legal documents, um, and maybe we add medical documents, stuff, stuff like that. Now, right now what we did is we created some file tags and we created all of these, but since they're all purple, right, they're all um, colored up, what we wanna do is just uncheck those that we don't wanna assign, and we can use all of these later. So I'm gonna keep cute checked, and again, up here, upper right-hand corner, check, mark save so click that I'm gonna save it so you notice our tag is cute and this will be helpful for later if we actually want to go through and search on some of the different documents and find out like all of the files that are power of attorney all the files that are medical all the med lists all of that and be able to easily search by that tag so now we're still in new document if we want this tux picture for this file for this description to be saved we go on up here and we click save, right? We click this button. And what you'll notice now is because this was such a small file, there's not really much of a move on the zero to 10 megabytes of the file, but it did add the file to our library. So now it gave us the date then time that was added and it, and it lists for us the title of that file. Um, if we're going to go and add one more just so we have um, something to look at and I'll kind of scroll up. Maybe we're gonna go, hmm, let's do Oh, cute cartoon cow. There we go. So we're going to go and add that. And um, so file title, we'll call it cute cow. And description, cow. Maybe we go and click add tags. I'm going to attach cute. Again, up here, right-hand side, save. And if I want this new document to be a permanent document, I'm going to click right there. So what that does is now we've got two documents created. Um, I did it pretty fast. Look at that. So both within a minute. And now we actually see a little bit of color right there because we've used uh, enough space to make some sense. Now what we now can do, and we now have these files saved up and as the um, primary caregiver and we can see them. So next thing would be if you're in the library, what if you want to look at it? So if you click on the cute cow, what you now can do is you'll see all of the information, but we could delete this file, which wouldn't be available for anyone any longer or we can click open. And when we click the open button, what will happen is depending on, I can't see my screen, oops, sorry about that. 
click on the open, it will usually download that file for us so that we can get to it. So that's all for now, guys. I'll come back and show you a little bit more about document 